This is Wamda Studio and we have with us Munis Rahman who is the Chief Executive Officer of Rosie.pk. It's a website that helps people get jobs. I mean, what could be better than that? Let's talk to him. Hi, thanks for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. So can you tell us a little bit about this idea? What was it? Like, were you jobless? Did you, I mean, how did you get into this? I, I moved back to Pakistan in 2003 to start a software idea I had. I had um, a small round of angel investment from friends and I was starting a social networking site which we launched and in the process of setting up the company in Pakistan I started in a small room in my parents house and uh, when I came I asked friends who'd run software companies in Pakistan how do you hire in Pakistan I knew that there was a tremendous opportunity to hire the cost of labor is much cheaper skill set was fantastic and everybody I talked to said well the way you hire in Pakistan is you place an ad in a newspaper and at that time, I'd raised something like um, $50,000, tight budget. It's all the money I had. I had to make the company a success. So um, I said, how much does a newspaper ad cost? I said, if you want to put an ad in a newspaper, it has to be quarter page, color, otherwise nobody responds. I said, okay, great, I'm going to do this. And uh, so I went, I contacted the leading English newspaper. I said, I'd like to place a quarter page ad in color on the back on Sunday. They said, okay, no problem, it's eight and a half lakhs, which was about $12,000 at the time with the current exchange rate. So I said, you know, I, that's a significant amount of money compared to how much money I have to run throughout the year. So it was clear that I just couldn't afford the conventional way of hiring in Pakistan for talent. And um, so very painfully, I hired through friends, resources. And in the US, I had started a company and I, I'm used to doing hiring. You know, we used to hire all the time. And the way I'd hire was through the web, through the internet. And I thought, why not do this in Pakistan? It works everywhere else in the world. Is it it's a very popular experience. method abroad? It's very, very popular. All the hiring in the U.S. had moved from newspapers to the internet, you know, in the 90s, ages ago. So we started a job site, launched it in two weeks. It was a side project. It wasn't the main business. The idea was to enable us to hire for our own team because we were growing very, very fast. And so we launched the site, and in about uh, six months, we'd hired about a third of the workforce through the site. Wow. Other people started using it. We started using it. It was completely free of charge. And then, um, you know, about two years later, we said, wow, there are a lot of people on this site. Uh, we should do something with it, because everybody I knew was posting ads and hiring through it. So it became a business model um, almost by accident. By accident. Wow. Okay, so a business model, like... Traditionally, we think of a business model as a very deeply thought out plan, you know, with we're going to do this and this and this and things are going to develop this way. But once you've got this business model in your hand, how did you take it from there? What kind of steps did you take to make it a business? So, you know, it's, it's, it's very challenging. And when I, when I talk to investors, uh, they want a business plan. They want a five-year plan. They want to know what your business model is. And you spend months creating these colorful documents with graphs and Excel projections, which, which are never true, by the way. Historically, it never happens that you make a five-year projection and you're able to meet it because nobody can forecast to that extent, especially at a startup stage. So, um, you know, especially with this business, there's no business plan we could have made to accurately predict our success yeah. or to model the success. Because Pakistan as a country is very, uh, very special. It's nuanced. There are a tremendous number of SMEs that operate here. Uh, a lot of them um, didn't have prior experience with the internet. Internet hiring was very new. There was a behavioral inflection point that was needed. Once you go past that behavioral inflection point, the next question is, well, how will they pay you? Very few of them have credit cards, online fraud. Everybody's afraid to spend online. So there was a lot of business model innovation and to be honest with you, there's nothing that we could have done before actually executing it to predict how the business would be successful. And it was really a trial and error. And we learned a lot. We would try something, experiment, fail quickly, try something else, and finally figure out the right model for employers to pay us, the right pricing model, what price do you charge, as well as the right mode of paying. Um, and the biggest success I think we had was this behavioral change. Now, uh, you know, on Rosie, we, uh, more jobs are advertised on our website than all of the newspapers in the country combined. Wow. And if somebody told me this would be the case five years ago, I would say, I don't think we can do that. 
So there has been uh, a behavioral change. Uh, we've, and it's society-wide, right? This is society-wide. Um, it's mainly professionals who tend to be a little bit more educated, uh, but all, all industries, so we span across all industries. Uh, but another thing that I think worked really well for us, and maybe it was a timing, internet was growing tremendously at that time as well. So when we started and where we ended up today, uh, the internet was the wind beneath our wings that kind of helped with all the other hard work we're doing. A lot of things change from internet usage. For example, Facebook now is a very, um, it's, it's a part of a lot of our lives yes. in Pakistan. And a lot of business lives. A lot of people use it for work as well, for advertising and marketing. And because people got so familiar with Facebook and how to use web-based online applications, um, it's a very easy sell now to say that there's an online way to hire. People expect the convenience that the internet offers, whereas that wasn't the case five years ago. So, um, where do you see your business in the next five years? Now you have five years under your belt and some sort of experience about how this is moving. Also, you're seeing uh, a change in the general attitudes of people and how they take to new innovation and new technology and their adaptation to it as well. So what do you see for Rosie.pk in the next couple of years? One of the big surprises while running Rosie.pk is uh, our growth and traction is coming from the SME sector. Wow. It shouldn't have been a surprise. We have all the top 300 companies using us, all 22 agencies of the UN, Angro, Mobilink, UBL. I mean, you can name the list of companies premium branded companies, they use our site to hire. And that's where we expected the revenue to come from. So when we started our site, from a payment perspective, those are the companies we went to first and charged them higher amounts of money to use the site. And that worked well, it made us profitable. But then what we found was the smaller companies were doing a lot of the transactions. We said, can we actually charge these guys? No, they can't afford to pay. We will let these guys go for free. Then one day I looked at the numbers and I looked at the people they were hiring and I said, you know, the average salary um, that they're paying, the SMEs are paying, is about 30,000 rupees. And for me to charge them 1,000 rupees for a salary that's 30,000 theoretically makes sense. And everybody said, no, no, don't do it, don't do it. The site traffic will stop, people won't use the site. But people responded positively. Well, so we got very lucky. So we charged and we're all holding our breath. What's going to happen? Next day, transactions kept going. And this became a very significant revenue stream to the extent that we have raised prices over 300% to the SME sector and they're responding very vibrantly because they're able to hire and they're able to grow their business. So when you pay, and it's still a much smaller amount of money than they used to spend on hiring. So we found out that you could actually grow a profitable business on the internet in Pakistan through the SME sector. So that's growing the fastest. Thanks, Munis. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. It was a pleasure.